Good morning friends. This morning session is dedicated to all class children, particularly class 6 to 10. Uh, and this is 11 also. This The topic is non-finite and one of the, I mean, classes of non-finite is infinitive. So we are going to talk about the use of infinitives in dirty way as spoken English. First of all, you would like to ask, sir, what are infinitives? Infinitives are vowel nouns. Vow used as noun, written into plus v1 or sometimes v1. Now, an infinitive can be used as a subject in a sentence. For example, to err is human, to forgive is divine. To err means to make mistake. To err is here subject. What is human? To err. To walk in the morning is a good exercise. What is a good exercise? To walk. To walk in the morning. So that is a subject. A subject is the doer of the action. An infinitive can be an object to a verb. Like, he wants to go home. What does he want to do? To go home. To go is an object to the verb want. She went to meet her uncle. Why did she, why did she go there? She went there to meet, the, meet her uncle. To meet is an object to the verb go. He works hard to succeed. Why does he work hard? To succeed so it is an object to the verb work so an infinitive can be an object to a verb an infinitive is also used as a, after an adjective like it is not easy to get a success so easy is here adjective and to get is infinitive so it is also used after an adjective and infinitive can also be used you know uh, just after Mm -hmm. uh, a noun also. Inf infinitives can be used after a noun also. Um, or after a transitive verb also. Like you can say that uh, he went to, uh, he wants to sing a song. What does he want? To sing a song. So want is a transitive verb. So after to sing is an infinitive. Infinitives can be a complement also. His, great, his greatest pleasure is to gamble. Now, what is his greatest pleasure? To gamble. So, to gamble is a complement in a sentence. So, when infinitives are used to express manner, the full form of an infinitive will be how plus 2 plus v1. When an infinitive is used to express manner, then the full form of infinitive will be how or what plus 2 plus v1. For example, uh, these verbs are always followed by how or what plus 2 plus v1. Verbs are know, ask, explain, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, describe, learn, teach and wonder. Like with wonder, I wonder what to do. Now, wonder is always followed by what plus 2 plus v1. I wonder what to do. I wonder where to go. So there will be some sort of, I mean, words like how, what, where. So I wonder what to do. She knows how to sing a song. Now, she learns how to speak French. So whenever you use the verb learn, and an infinitive has to be used, then before infinitive, use how. She is learning how to drive a car. Similarly, he taught me how to uh, drive a car. I forgot what to write. Forget is also followed by how uh, and what. If a noun is followed by an infinitive, we need to use an appropriate preposition. If any noun is followed by infinitive, we have to use an appropriate preposition. For example, give me a paper to write on. Give me a chair to sit on sit on he doesn't have a bed to sleep in so here what we are doing we are using preposition after an infinity because it is always followed by infinity is followed by noun then we have to use a an appropriate preposition i have no bed to sleep in in is the preposition and to sleep is infinity give me a pen to write with so, with is a preposition and to write is an infinitive. So, whenever a noun is followed by infinitive, we need to use an appropriate preposition. 
like he needed a chair to sit on direct and bare infinitives are very important infinitives without two are known as direct infinitives direct infinitives are used after had sooner had better had rather would rather sooner than rather than you had better live now never use to live now simply uh, use bare infinitive you had better live now they would rather talk than part with and after the following verbs when they are used in the active form you know bare infinitives are used remember in active form bid make help feel see watch and hear these are the verbs which when used in active form they are followed by bare infinitives like i bid him go out never say i bid him to go out he made me laugh never say he made me to laugh because these are the verbs after which direct infinitive is used i bid him go he made me laugh my mother made me do my homework and i watched him go but in passive form the same verbs are followed by 2 plus v1 like i was made to wash all my clothes i was made to wash all my clothes similarly i was helped to solve the problems he was he was begged to go so when these verbs are you know he was bidden to go when these verbs are used in passive form they will be written they will be followed by 2 plus v1 but they if they are used in you know active form they will be used with direct infinitives i said uh, help save the environment make make this environment clean and clean and healthy help make this environment clean and healthy she makes us learn the things he bids us you know follow the rules uh, uh, she you know she helps us do our home, homework uh, yes we saw him go he made he bade him go out uh my uh, my teacher made me do all the math homework i watched him go but similar verbs used in passive form will be followed by 2 plus v1 like i was made to wash all my clothes i was made to learn all my lessons so these are the use of some of the infinitives in the second video we will talk more about infinitives in this spoken english thank you have a nice day this is mr reddy singh on the channel is english your own channel